Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. Welcome once again to another class, another day, something new to learn. Um, well, thank you so much for always being on time. Same people is always on time. I do appreciate that. And uh, I hope that every one of you had a great day. I know it's been raining all day. And well, if you had to go to work today, that was, wow, kind of difficult, right? Because when it's raining, nobody wants to go to work. Well, at least me. I don't know the other ones. But I hope you all had a great day. So well, it's time already for us to start. So welcome once again to the ones that just connected. Probably the other ones are going to be connecting throughout the session. And uh, well, as usual, I would like to know if you all can hear me, like clear. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you very much for that. So uh, as we always start the classes, asking questions regarding to the last topic that we saw. So yesterday we saw a little bit about countable and uncountable nouns, and we had also some quantifiers. Those quantifiers who help us to understand a little bit more about, you know, like, like how to use uh, countable and uncountable nouns. So today, before we start today's class, we are going to have uh, like a brief or some exercises for me to verify if you really understood about, I mean, countable and uncountable nouns. So let me just share the screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. So let me see. <clears throat> Can you all see it? No. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, cool. Now, so as you can see there, we have uh, one example. We have one example about uh, how much and how many, and uh, also using some of them like uh, any and some. Those are things that we already saw. So we're just going to go through, through all the exercises that we have here. So as you can see, we have one example of the way that we have to do so. So in the first one, we have like two different ways. So we have just kind of select the best option or the option that fits perfectly on the thing that we're asking. For example, on number one, we have how much slash many meat does she eat? So we have the noun meat here. So we have to understand if it is countable or non-countable. And based on that, we are going to choose whether how much or how many. So when we give the answer to that, it can be positive or negative, you will decide. So we have here the negative option and it says, she doesn't eat any meat. So you can decide if you choose a positive or negative. I don't know if it is clear for you what we are going to do in this part. Do you, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, hope you understand, okay? So we're going to start with you, Maximo, if you don't mind. Would you like to help me in number two? How much vegetable does she eat? How much vegetables? Um, does she eat? Okay, so you're basically saying that vegetables, it is a non-countable noun. Yes. Okay. So how would you answer to that question? She does. She does. Uh-huh. What else? Mush vegetable to it. To eat. No, some, some, uh, some eat. 
Okay, so let me grab, let me try to write that down. Let me see, just let me check here. How much vegetable does she eat? So we can say she, what did you say as an answer? She does. She does. Eat. Some vegetable. Some um, vegetables, okay. There we have it. She does eat some vegetables. Okay, I'm not gonna say that, that uh, what you said is incorrect because it, it is actually correct, but um, you know the- Does, does. Uh -huh. Say she does eat, we are- She, uh, she, she eats some vegetable. So she eats. Okay, let me erase that part then. So we're saying she eats some vegetables. Okay, there we have it. She eats some vegetables. That's that's better. But what you said, it was also correct. I mean, it wasn't incorrect because, I mean, but we are going to, to see that later on. But according to what we just saw, this answer is better than the first one. Thank you very much, Maximo. So let's see. Um, I will ask Sonia. I can see you're here. Sonia, what about, do you have any idea about number three? Or do you have any idea about what we're doing? Good evening. Good evening. Um, how much diet cola does she drink? How much? Okay, that's better. So what would you answer to that question? She does... Um, Maybe similar the number two. Use some. Okay, so you're saying she does what? What else? She does eat. Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, no. Is drink. She does drink like that. She does drink a soda or diet soda, diet cola. Diet cola. She does drink a diet cola. Mm. Remember that yesterday we saw a lot of quantifiers, like a lot of a few little. We saw all of them. I mean, I'm not saying that what you told me is incorrect. I'm not saying that. Saying that. Because it's partially correct because there's one mistake there what is the mistake can someone tell me what is the mistake on the answer she gave me does she, um, she drink does a diet cola follow drink drink the bird drink it should with s with the letter s why? Because we're talking about the third person. So we can say she drinks some, some or a diet cola, as she said. She drinks a diet cola. We can say she drinks some diet cola. She drinks a lot of diet cola. She drinks a few diet cola. So we can use a lot of different quantifiers. Let me see, uh, Bilma. Do you have any idea, Bilma, uh, on number four? Um, yes. Uh, um, how much pasta does she eat? How much pasta does she eat? Okay, that's good. So, what would you he answer to that? 
he or he? He eats. He eats. A little pasta. A little pasta. That was good. Nancy Maldonado, do you have any idea on how to work on number five? How many tomatoes does he eat? How many tomatoes does he eat? What would you answer to that question? He eats and I as he eats some a tomato. Oh, okay. We we can use a lot of, we can use a few, we can use uh, lots of, we can use different quantifiers. Which one would you choose? A lot of? A lot of, okay. A lot of tomatoes. It's a lot tomatoes. Let me see. Um, Emperatriz, do you have any idea about number six? And we're going to finish that with you. Um, he, 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 beer. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot, no. He, come on, he, be, he beer, does, he beer, mm. drink. He beer, drink. What about the other ones? Do you agree with what she said? Do you no. agree? No. no. Why not? Or how would you answer it, Ben? I don't remember. He, he bear that, he bear uh, many, no, I, I don't know. Okay, first of all, primero que nada hay que identificar qué significa beer. Porque si tú... Tomar, he tomar. Beer. No, beer is not tomar. Ah? Drink, drink is tomar. Drink. Beer ah. is cerveza. Ah, cerveza. Sí. Uh -huh. So oh. there, there was a mistake. Ahí estaba el error. So you were to, uh -huh. to make or to he mix. Drink, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. He drink many, oh, many beer. He drinks many beer. beer. Okay. So are we saying that, which one do you choose in the question? What how, you... much, uh, how, how many uh, beer does he drink? He drinks many beers. Mm -hmm. Is that beer countable or not countable? Uh, countable. Is countable? Is it countable? The other ones? How much? Not to check. It's uncountable. It's uncountable. It's uncountable. So based on that, we cannot have many beers. How much? Okay. So we can say he drinks much beers. We can say that, but we cannot say many beers because beers is not countable. So we have uh, to pay attention to that. As you can see, sometimes it might be a little bit di difficult for you to identify when an, a noun is countable or is uncountable. But I understand that like once you are used to using those nouns, you are going to be used to that, to, to using those. But right now it might be a little bit confusing. So I will stop sharing that. And uh, that was just a brief recap about yesterday's class.
So today we're going to move on to a different topic, which is a little bit of grammar too. Today we're going to be focusing on adjectives of appearance. Have you ever heard about it? Or does any one of you have any idea of what I'm talking about? <clears throat> What's an adjective, first of all? What's an adjective? It is a noun, teacher. It's something that describes a noun. So every single time that we talk about adjectives, is because we are going to be describing a noun, a place, a thing, or any location, anything. Because uh, adjectives are something that we use or part of the grammar that we use to describe something. But in this case, or today, we are going to focus on a type of a specific adjectives and today we're going to talk about adjectives of appearance. Those adjectives are adjectives that we use to describe appearance of people. Okay, like tall, short, and so on and so on. Those are some examples. But first of all, it is important to know what's an adjective. So I would like to have a volunteer that would like to help me reading what's an adjective. Me, teacher. Okay, Adjective, Adjectives describe the way something or someone looks. They can describe a person, place, or thing, and like adjectives of quality. Thank you very much, Claudia. Now, that's the definition of an adjective. Now, let's see what's the definition of an adjective of appearance. Because those are a type or um, something not different, but within the same category of adjectives, we can have this type of adjectives. So I would like to have another volunteer who would like to help me reading what are adjectives of appearance? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Appearance is defined as the way someone or something looks. This adjective describes the way a person plays or team look they answer the question what kind of what kind of okay so as we say i was he read there those adjectives describe the way a person plays or thing looks so today we're going to be talking about looks okay the way someone something or a place has an appearance, okay? So yesterday, well, we're going to try to figure it out how to identify some um, adjectives of appearance. And here we have some examples with some brief definitions. And what I'm going to ask you is that if you don't know the meaning of any of those, let me know so we can all check, okay? So if you don't know the meaning of any of those, let me know. So I would like to have a volunteer or someone who would like to help me reading the first adjective, which is attractive. Okay, I have, uh, yeah, go ahead, please. Me? Yes. A, a person who is good looking, um, my, Okay, um, pronunciation, please. Male. Male or family. Female. Female. Okay, thank you very much. Now I saw Sonia. Sonia, would you like to help me reading youthful? Youthful looks. A person who looks younger. 
are much younger than their actual age. Thank you very much. Now, someone that would like to help me with the word or the adjective bold. Me, teacher, bold. So, A person who has no hair, some bold people shave their head. Heads. Heads. Thank you very much. Now, with those three adjectives of appearance, do you have any question regarding to vocabulary or do you guys understand the three adjectives that we just read? No questions at all? What? No. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Repeat. Re, re, you want me to repeat what? Uh, oh, uh, uh, no, I mean, if you understood the three uh, adjectives that we just saw, attractive, youthful, and bold, do you understand what, what they mean? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So now let's move yes. on to, to the next one, which is beautiful. I, I'm pretty sure that you all know or you all, all have heard about beautiful. It's a person who is extremely good looking, mainly used to describe women. Okay. Now let's move on to the blonde part. I would like Ana Maritza to help me reading the blonde adjective. Uh, disculpe, teacher, es que me, me salgo de la clase y, y eh, no me funciona mucho el inter. No he escuchado toda la clase. Okay, it's fine. So let's go with Cecilia Rivas then. <clears throat> Blonde, mm -hmm. a person who has yellow hair. Thank you very much. No, no, that's it. So now let's go to Chubby. That someone would like to help me reading the, the adjective Chubby. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Chubby. A polite way of describing someone who is a bit overweight. Okay. To describe someone who is a bit overweight. Okay, curvy. I forgot to add the definition of curvy, but curvy is someone whose body is a little bit uh, different because it has curves on it. So that's the way we used to describe someone that is curvy. What about ordinary? That someone would like to help me read in ordinary. Me teacher. Go ahead. Somebody who is very plain or average looking, not especially beautiful. Or not especially beautiful, okay. Now let's see what about plain. Me teacher. Go ahead. Somebody who is very ordinary looking, a person with average looks. Thank you so much. Now, someone that would like to help me reading presentable. Go ahead. Smart well dressed yeah well dressed smart clean and well dressed thank you very much what about the next one which is red head me teacher go ahead red. a person with orange hair with orange hair thank you very much what about scruffy who would like to have me, go ahead me oh, one more uh, 
you say to describe some some someone who said a a pregnancy is very untidy. Untidy, okay. You to describe someone whose appearance is very untidy. Thank you very much. What about shapely? Shapely, who would like to help me reading shapely? Okay, Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary. Shapely, verdad? Shapely. Mm -hmm. Shapely, you sell to the scribe. A curvy woman, which has small white. Small waist, okay. Thank you very okay. much. And Juan, help me with the last one, which is short. Okay, short. Used to, used to describe someone who isn't very tall. Okay, thank you so much. Now, this is the first part, or these are some examples of adjectives of appearance. Now, my question to you is, did you guys understand them all? It's clear, so we can move to the next part, or do you want me to tell you the meaning of them? Teacher, I don't understand the adjective scruffy. Scruffy, uh, that's desaliñado. That's why we say it in, in Spanish, desaliñado. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, does any one of you have any other question regarding to the ones that we have there? Or are those understandable? Are those clear? Well, I would tell your silence as a yes. So let's move on to part number two. And now I will ask people to help me because some of you never like almost never participate so i will ask you to participate right now so i would like to have carlos antonio to help me reading the the adjective fat then i would like uh luis areva okay. help me with the adjective fit then nancy gutierrez with, with the adjective fluffy okay so let's go the fit. No, the first one, fat. Fat. A very negative way to describe Sony who too is every way. Very rude and the bit insulting. Okay. It says a very negative way to describe someone who is overweight, very rude, and a bit insulting. Okay, let's go okay. with the bird with the adjective. I'm sorry, fit. Luis, are you there? Well, I think he's not there. He said he was having some issues with the internet. So now, number one, someone. Of okay, go ahead. Me escucha, teacher. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's like cutting off a little bit, but sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's not. So try to do it. Tengo estoy un poco porque tengo bastantes problemas. Ya me sacó y me volví a meter. Mm, okay. okay. Fit, number one. Someone who gets a lot of exercise and is very healthy. Mm -hmm. Number two, a very attractive person. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Emperatriz, let's see Flabby. You said to describe some, someone who does not, not get much exercise with poor muscle tone. Muscle, we say muscle tone. 
most of them. Thank you very much. Now, Rosemary, can you please go ahead and help me with gorgeous? Gorgeous. Very attractive user to the screw men and women. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rosemary. Let me tell you guys, he estado escuchando que la mayoría me está diciendo you said. Ya vimos el pasado de los verbos. ¿Cómo pronunciamos ese verbo en pasado? Decimos you said? No. How do we say that then? Used. 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 Okay, so we say used to describe men and women, okay? Now, let's go to the part of handsome. Handsome, it says that is a man who is extremely good looking, okay? And let's go to the part of skinny. Sonia, tell me with the skinny adjective. Skinny, used to describe someone who is very thin. What is the pronunciation? The next? Impolite. Impolite. Mm -hmm. Impolite. So Impolite. this it means that this word we do not use because it's very impolite. Right. Uh, uh, but sometimes you can you can see it on, on books or there are some pants which are skinny pants. So this adjective is very used but it's kind of rude for some people, okay? So let's go to the part of slender and I will have to have, uh, I will have to have a Pat Patricia Rodriguez with this slender. Slender, used to describe a thin person who looks healthy. Who looks healthy, thank you very much. Let's go with the part of smart. Uh, Maximo, tell me with this part, please. Maximo, are you there? Yes, yes. He used to describe someone who takes a lot of care over their appearance. Appearance. Okay. Appearance. Thank you very much. Now, Wilma, help me with stocky. He used to describe people, especially men, who are broad and not very tall. Okay. Now, Nancy Maldonado, help me with tall. Tall. Used to describe someone who is about average height. Thank you very much. Now, let me see uh, Carlos Antonio, the last one, tattoo. You said to describe someone who is a body ever I hate. No, you're you're reading you're you are reading this part, but we are here. Uh, you said to describe someone to no. is. No, 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 You're, you are reading this part, but we are here. You have to read this part right here. Uh, you said to describe people to have tattoos. You used to describe people who have tattoos. Okay, now the question for you is guys, do you all understand the meaning of the adjectives that we have here? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. If there is no questions, we're going to move on to uh, some other examples that we have. And this is the last part that we have. Then we're going to have a kind of a pronunciation part with some, some other adjectives. And uh, let me see. We're going to go with the first one, which is large. Large, we are going to use it when we refer to someone who is over with. It means someone neutral, okay? Someone would like to help me with muscular? Uh, 
Someone who is very tall and has well-defined muscles. Muscles, thank you very much. Now, Cecilia Rivas, help me with obese. Use to describe someone who is very fat, impossible. In, impolite. Impossible. Impolite. Okay, Claudia, help me with the plump part. Long, a uh, uh, tactful way of describe someone who is overweight, uh, mainly British English. Mainly British English. So it means that this word is more used in the British English. I mean, British accent or. Um, not in the American English, but also it's very important that you know how to them so if at any time someone tells you this tip, you will have the idea or you will know a little bit about the meaning of that adjective. But you just have to remember that this adjective is commonly used in the British English, okay? So what about thin? Ana Maritza, would you like to help me reading the adjective thin? Used, used to, to describe some how we left thing the uh, ever person. Okay, in so impolite. Impolite. Okay, so it says that we use this word to describe use. someone who weighs less than the average person. Okay. So let's go to the last two, and I would like to have Vilma for the uncapped, and uh, Maximo, that will, I would like you to help me with well built. He used to describe someone who looks scruffy and does not take care of their appearance. Thank you so much, Vilma. Uh, well built. Someone who whose body shape or size is bigger than the average person. Okay, now my question, do you guys understand them all or does any one of you did, didn't understand any of them? Teacher, what does mean impolite and well built or built? Well built, well built, we call it when someone is, cuando le decimos bien formado, well built. And impolite is eh, algo que, que no es de forma educada. Impolite, that's impolite. Cuando no lo dices de una forma educada, sino que es... I don't know how to say that, deseducado. That's something like that in Spanish. Algo grosero. Something like that. Something of rude. Something like that. Algo rudo. Mm -hmm. It's very much Thank so. Okay. So if uh, anyone else that doesn't have any other questions, so we're going to move on to the to the next part, which is uh, a brief reminder for you that you have to be really careful about using negative adjectives when you are commenting on a person's appearance. Some people, as you know, might be very offended by them. Because for example, if you call someone fat, or if you say someone fat, that person might feel very offended. So you have to try to not to use those adjectives, try to use another adjectives which refer to the same thing, but they sound more polite, suenan más educados. For example, in most situations, as it says here, it's safer to use a neutral or positive adjective. For example, slender, slender instead of saying thin, large, or instead of, uh, for example, slender significa esbelto. So 
eh, en lugar de decirle seco a alguien. So instead of saying seco, we can use the, the adjective slender para sonar un poquito más educados y no ser un poco rudos because someone might get offended by that. Or uh, we can use large. Podemos utilizar el, el adjetivo large en lugar de decirle a alguien gordo. Because if we say large, estamos diciendo grande, but we are not saying directly, no le estamos diciendo a alguien directamente gordo. I don't know if you understand the idea. So we just have to be a little bit careful because sometimes these adjectives or some people might feel offended if you don't use the adjectives in the correct way. I mean, you know, the like society and we have to be respectful with people and do not uh, judge someone based on their appearances or the way they look. So we have here some other adjectives of appearance and this part, what we are going to do is going to be pretty much pronunciation. So I will give you a number right now and you have to remember your number because you are going to help me with that pronunciation of those. So the first person is going to be Claudia, which is going to help me with one, two, three, four, five. Then Vilma with six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Maximo 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Then I would like to have Damaris with uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Sonia with 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? So you already know. So let, let's see the way that you pronounce it. I just want to listen if you can pronounce them correctly. If you do not pronounce them correctly, I will help you to make the pronunciation of those. Let's go. I have the clue, the pronunciation. The, you have no clue? Um, no. Just try to do it. If you don't say it correctly, I will help you, okay? Okay. Let's go. Um, um, adorable. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, alluring. 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 Uh -huh. Attractive. Attractive. Uh -huh. Barbarous. Barbarous. Maru, beautiful. Beautiful, that's very easy. Now let's move on to person number two. Bloody. Bloody. Blushing. Uh -huh. Blushing. Blushing. Boorish. Fair. Fancy. Fancy, thank you very much. Who's the next person? Guilty. Mm -hmm. Fine. Glamorous. Glowing. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you very much. Who is the next one? Graceful, old-fashioned, perfect, and plain. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasant. 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 Uh, precious. 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 Quaint. Quaint. Uh-huh. Uh, scribe, scruffy, scruffy, self assured, self assured. Okay, self assured. Okay, now, uh, do you guys understand them all, or do you want me to tell you the meaning of any of those? What? Hello, teacher. The second. the second one. Alluring, yes. when we say that, it's like seductor. Alluring. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Boorish teacher. Um, I don't know. I listened to kind of interference there. Someone singing, alguien cantando. Excuse me, Burish. Burish, Burish, you mean? Sí, sí. This one is grosero. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I'm I'm sorry. What? Blackwing. Oh, I I don't understand. Can you repeat that again? No, it's it's, it's like you. I think it's glowing, teacher. Glowing. I think she say. Well, if she said glowing, glowing is como resplandeciente, glowing. Teacher and gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, you mean? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous is alguien eh, bonito, alguien extravagante, alguien gorgeous. If you said as Uh, sure. 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 Oh, self-assured? Uh -huh. Seguro de sí mismo. Someone self-assured. Uh -huh. Okay. Now. Teacher, teacher, please. Yes. Uh, uh, why? Scruffy. Scruffy. Esa, sí. Oh, that one? Scruffy? Scruffy, sí. Desaliñado. Ah. <laughs> okay. Gracias. All right. Thank so you. let's move on to another part. Here we have some others. In this part, we are also going to try to help or to try to uh, practice our pronunciation. So in this part, I will need someone else's help. And in this part, I would like to have for the first five, one, two, three, four, five. Nancy Maldonado. Then for the other part, I would like to have Carlos Antonio, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then the next part, Rosemary, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And see Nancy Gutierrez, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Emperatriz, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Then the last person is going to be the Maris Vega, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Let's go. Good evening. Good evening. Confident. Okay, thank you. So it's it sounds like you're having interference there, so I will repeat them back. Bright, clean, clumsy, colorful, and confident. Who is person number two? Uh, Portrait. Portrait. Is level. Mm -hmm. Drab. Drab. Dull. Elegant. Elegant. Okay. Who is the next person? Grotesque. Grotesque. Uh -huh. Handsome. Uh -huh. Healthy. Healthy. Hilarious. Hilarious. Homely. Homely. Okay. Homely. Okay. Who is the next person? Okay, teacher. Hurt. Long. Lovely. Thank Mid Magnificent. Mid Misty, okay. Who is the next person? Uh, shiny. 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 A slender. Slender. Uh -huh. Snowbitch. Mm -hmm. Sparkling. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Splendid, okay. Who is the last person? Yeah. Me teacher, spotless, things, ugliest, vivacious, and warm. Warm, okay, thank you very much. Now, do you guys understand all of these uh, adjectives that we have right here? Do, we, do you understand them all? Teacher, what is the meaning hilarious? Hilarious. 
Hilarious, when we say hilarious, is someone divertido. Okay, someone or something, hilarious, okay? Richard, uh, this, this, uh, this, 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 build, build yes. is, it's someone desarreglado o alborotado. <laughs> yeah, in our, in nuestro, in nuestro idioma, nuestro lenguaje, de chavetado. Someone like that. Yeah. Dish veiled. Dish veiled. No, dish veiled. Yeah, dish veld, like that. Mm -hmm. Something else, or we're we're fine with that. A misty. That is a misty. This one here, misty. Yes, misty. Neblinoso, neblinado. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. vivacious. 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 vivacious, when we say vivacious, is alguien vivaz, vivacious. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, what? Impecable o inmaculado. All right, so if we don't have any other question, we are going to move on to the part of the practice. And because we don't have too much time, I just we are just going to work on this part, which is about finding or trying to figure it out who is describing each one of the sentences. So I just need you to take a screenshot of that and we are going to go to the breakout room so we can work on this part in the, in the last minutes. So you let me know you're done so we can move on. Is that it? Is, are you okay with, with the screenshot right now? Yes, teacher. No, yeah. okay, great. So we're going to go to the record rooms. Remember to speak in English and let's go. This is um, bro, bolígrafo. 
Oh my God, okay. Uh, is Oliver, uh, Lucas. No. He's no. wearing... Uh, no, 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 no. Hello, hello. He's got a long stride, brown hair. Okay, Lucas. She, oh, she. No, 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 no. She, she. No, no. Sara. Karen, if you see Ka Karen or Sara. Flowering, Sara. Sara. He's wearing a flower. Sara. Sara. Yes. Sara. Sara. Okay. Sara. Uh, write, write the answer in your book. And not the book. Uh, it's all of your story. Hola. 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 Sí, sí. Leo yo. Estoy teniendo bastante, pero... Call it that he's wearing jeans and red trainers. Trainers. Ah, uh, es... Sería... Um, Bell trainer. ¿Qué es un trainer? En Lucas. Vaya. Ah, no. No, no, no. Ella, es ella. Creo. Uh -huh. No, es he. La number, eh. number four. Ah, perdón. O oh, number three. No. Number three is Sara. Sí, entonces es number él. Number four. Has got curly dark hair. Uh -huh. El único colocho. Um, he is wearing jeans and red trainers. No, pero está usando. Eso es lo que sea Richard, pero no está usando así como colocho. No lo veo. Y, y él es el único que tiene jeans y algo rojo. Trainers, we call mm -hmm. it trainers. Le llamamos trainers a los zapatos deportivos. Trainers. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, este, Brian. 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 He's Five wearing a green Sarah. cardigan and brown towel. Uh, Peter, no. To yes. Trousers. What is trousers? Pantalones. Gordo. Okay, ah, uh, yes, Oliver. Oliver, Oliver. The uh, second one. Okay. Has got long, straight brown hair. She's wearing a flowering. Dress en brown shoes. Sara. Sara. Sí, Sara. Has got curling dark hair. He's wearing jeans and. <clears throat> Did you finish the exercises, Claudia? Did you finish or no? No, you didn't. Okay. I, I cannot listen to you. Your microphone is not working. <laughs> Disculpas, I have 10. 10, just 10. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to wait for the other ones. Vamos a esperar por los otros. Good. Okay. We're going to see. <clears throat> okay. So guys, did you complete them all? So, so did you. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So um, that's gonna be pretty much for you to like mean to practice, okay? For you to practice, I understand that there were a lot of information and probably that we didn't have enough time to complete them all. But um, that, that can work at home if you want. That's just for you to practice if you want. If not, that's perfect. So do you guys have any question before we go? No? If there's no questions, I just want to tell you or to remind you to keep working on the platform. Remember that we are checking your progress there and we are checking that every week. If you don't work in a platform, we will notify you and let you know that or we'll ask you what's going on with you. Okay, so try to keep working on section number four. If you already finished that, just avoid what I'm saying, okay? If you're still working on that, and if you have any question or something, let me know through the WhatsApp group and we can check or we can see how we can help you, okay? So that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class and see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night.